and clay, mm -hmm. you know. Did but, you have any idea when you were doing that, what were you trying to portray in, in, in Well, I, I knew people who were working with Martin Luther King uh, effort in D.C. at the time, and so they were talking to me. I actually did a drawing which they used for a publication, one of their yearly uh, celebrations. And so that, I did that at some point. Let me, let me explain something to you about the way it works for me. If I have an idea clear in my head, it just happens. I did that life size ballerina outside in clay in three weeks. But I had done smaller versions of it. Not that one, but I did several small, like this one over here. And I was getting in that direction. And so when I finally did it, I already had a pretty clear idea in my head what it was. So I just did it, life size. But, uh, and the energy was there, but I must have been half crazy when I did it. I mean, I was just totally into it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It was just totally consuming. If I'm fragmented, it's going to take longer because I have to keep getting back into the mindset. You know, and so, you know, you, you ask like Michelangelo did the 16th Chapel in three and a half years. Well, he was a madman. A place called Johnson, the today, the run by Stuart Johnson, who's the son of the Johnson & Johnson Medical Supplies Company, an eccentric person. My job was the first one that they did outside of his work. And he was a foundation. So he was using it, uh, the foundation context to promote it in his own pieces. You've got mannequins all over the country. They're worthless. But they are, they're around. And uh, so this piece uh, was to be dedicated in D.C., but Chuck Jewett came out as gay towards the end of the thing, and that was back in there uh, before the 80s, 80. So it wasn't well received. And uh, so they canceled the dedication. And uh, so I was back out pretty much where I started. But I did do a, these small additions, and so I was able to sell a bunch of those to... So I made, I made a pretty good profit out of it in the big picture. But uh, that was unfortunately uh, kind of ignored by the Washington hierarchy. Mm -hmm. Art, art, you know, it, it, did, it never got any publication. So it's not up in D.C. anywhere? No, it's there. Oh, it's where? Yeah, it's on 20th now. Street, on 20th between L and Street? L. 20th and L? Hell and Hell. It's there. Oh, right. you know, but I, I made my money on the small pieces. Huh. The smaller pieces. Like Take a picture of these pieces, pieces here. You know. But that's, uh, yeah, it's there. How tall is that? 20 feet, 19 and a half feet. Took how long it took you to do that? It was two years. Two years? Two years. I had four, four or five people working for me. Off and on to do the enlargement phase of it. You know, and so I did it in four stages. That was the first stage, and I did one about this tall, and I did one ten and a half feet tall, and I did this one. 